Okay. Hello everyone, uh, Flamebot here, and welcome to Soma! I know absolutely nothing about this game besides that it's an underwater horror game, which is also by the same people who made the Amnesia series. This game is not new, it's kind of a few years old, but I figure it would be fun to try out and make a uh, let's play about it. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh dear lord, there's of course different game modes. Uh, normal, monsters are dangerous and can kill you, and you need to think and sneak to survive the way the game was designed from the start. Safe, monsters are still creepy but can't kill you. Could I theoretically just like, stare deep into its eyes then? Just lovingly caress its face. Forget I said that. Um, you don't need to worry about stealth as you play, so I could probably just like, s just run into them all the time. Oh, there's only normal and safe. Okay, uh, let's just do normal, because what kind of a horror game are you playing where the monsters don't kill you? And start the game. Okay, there's actually plenty of horror games where things don't kill you. But still. Ooh, sorry, I just took a drink of tea. My bad. Also, fair warning, I, uh, I turned off the hints, so I'm just making it a little more difficult on myself. Oh, there we go. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K. Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. What Here, accident? Take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Huh. Hello. Oh. Yeah, I'm up. RT to pick Hi, up. Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay. Why did it type out like that? Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Brain damage, 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 damage. Okay, so RT is to pull things open. I can crouch... You know, oh, what? What's this? Can I grab it? Wait, I can grab something. Oh no, I'm just closing the drawer. The tracer for it? Clearly not here. What's this? I can grab it. That looks terrifying. Uh... Mark and Diane Miller have has finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying, Hooked will put you in. Okay, interesting. Hooked, Robin McCollin. Oh, she's son of a gun. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah! Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Probably in the bathroom where medicine is usually kept. Can I just grab a bunch of stuff? Also, it's kind of laggy. Oh no. Breaking things, breaking things. Oh hey, a notepad. Boink. There's a lot of things to look at, actually. 
I can hardly read that. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. What button did I push that gave me all those readings? Okay, apparently I couldn't do it for that one. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Boink. Hello, computer. Oh. Uh, Neograph session. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. Man, this glare thing that's going on really hurts my eyes. Uh, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. What about this? Uh, I don't want to read all that. I don't want to read all that. I can send an email. I forgot to hit send. Does it matter? I already told him about it. Too bad, we're sending it. I sent Better it. Better late than never. I don't know if that will have anything to do. Oh, can I open up the current? Oh, Someone's more light. coming. Hope it's a good one. Is there? There's like a vacancy lock in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, I want to assume the medicine would be somewhere in here. The answer is no, I guess. Open the curtain. Let's take a shower. Oh wait a minute, can I actually? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. No. Okay. Where would I have put that medicine if it's that important? What's this? Massive recoil. I don't want to read any more stuff. Uh, where is the medicine? Where is it? Oh, come on. I didn't even mean to close it. It would be in the trash, would it? Would it be in one of my coats? I don't know if those are coats, those look like shirts. So... Silverware drawer. Love it. Nope. Okay, pipes. I didn't even open this fully, okay. Would it be in the fridge? Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. You can try, but you never will. Where is that dumb medicine at? Oh, wait a minute, is it my drawers? Hello, bang. Oh, hey, voicemail. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email off. <laughs> he must have caught up by now. Where's that medicine? Okay, maybe I should read the email. Maybe... What's this? Mapping Minds. Eh, don't want to read it. Is there one of these drawers? Why am I such a pig? Cinema variety. Huh. That's a very coil too. There it is. Oh, there it is. What's that? Uh, downtown accident kills young woman in Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to be blindside. Oh wait, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruises but barely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. Hold on a minute, there's static coming through, so I'm gonna click end the video and then restart it real quick so the audio doesn't get all corrupted because I fear of that now. Okay, hopefully that fixes it. 
if it was a problem to begin with, I won't find out until I edit all this together. So yeah. Um, let me see. Unharmed, other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Oh dear, that. No. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, which I'm pretty sure is me, 26, survived, but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. They said her driving distracted. Well, I mean, she could have not been distracted by her children. Oh, and I just drink it. So much detail. I can see the arm hairs. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Feels like milk? What? Also, what is with that painting? <laughs> Yellow. Okay, so do I just need to walk out of here then? I guess so. Will I be walking through town or will it just take me straight to the doctor's office? Oh. On public transit. Huh. Okay. Is Osgood the place I'm going to? Is that me? Oh yeah, it is. Jess, the grimoire. Wait, I can ignore it. Now let's answer it. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I oh, Jesse, that's right. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, uh -huh. good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. Oh, I'm dying. Dying okay. thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Okay, then. Well, at least that's all covered, then. What? Okay, then. And we're off. I'm wondering what would have... Uh, probably the phone call would have gone differently had I not sent the email. Or would it have ever existed? Bum, bum, bum. Now I'm curious on what would have happened if I just hung up. Maybe nothing? Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, it's so dark. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Would it be appropriate if I open up some of the blinds? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Oh wow, actually opening up the blinds helps a whole lot. Yeah, it's actually kind of pretty outside. Although a little blocky, but still pretty. It looks like that truck's just drifting. Very slowly. Okay, let's see if we can find this person. This is the place, right? It must be. Okay, looks like I need a code. Or not. I'm getting... Oh no, it's asking me to call him? Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. Yep, okay. That's okay. I can figure this out. Should I be figuring it out? I should probably just leave and go home. Okay, I guess I gotta raise something to find something out. What's this? Uh, do we got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Oh, whoops. I missed the hold. Paul, where are you? Uh, hi, Paul. I talk to Pace. But... Well... Nope. No code yet. I locked out. Um found some extra time in the lab today, unfortunately nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wee, 
to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant his permission to use lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code and mail or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay, so I just gotta find a note. Where's a note that I can pick up? Uh, probably in a drawer. Not that one. Uh, well, this is one. This is a lot. Trial and error. Uh, this is a lot to read, so I'm just gonna... Bonk. Note. What about this? There has to be a note in here somewhere. Is it 2501? I can only assume. Well, let's go try it. What was that? Okay. 2501. Hey, I was right. Figured it out. Okay, we didn't need that noise in. Oh, dang it. Oh, there we go. Hello? Anyone here? Can't open up that. Fire hose! I don't seem to be capable of opening it. There's only one door that's open, so... Walk in, I guess? Hello? Brain scanning stuff. A syringe. Wait, I can pick up the syringe? I'm gonna stab someone with it. Okay, I'm gonna put it back down, actually. Don't break! Did not, but it's probably gonna roll off. Oh no, it's date. Uh, some screw gun. Bunch of computers and stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'm walking out of here. What about this? That looks like it says explosive. Nope, can't go in there. Okay, what about over here? There you are! Why weren't you at the front? Oh, hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie. But I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, oh you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Maybe this, maybe this game is not an underwater horror game. Or maybe it will be later. Time to sit in chair. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh dear, what is happening? All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, <laughs> Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. And these thought know. cameras would steal their souls. How does that sound? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Ready? Say cheese. Uh... Whoop. Did something go wrong? Uh, what happened? What did just happen? Hello? Where? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Where am I? It's so dark. Am I still in the same area? Oh. This isn't funny. I can hardly see anything, jeez. Okay. I'm not supposed to put myself in... Where did I go? What the hell Whoa. is this place? How did I get here? Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's just a computer. Where am I? Oh, this is where the underwater takes place, I think. That was a sudden jump. 
Oh, hey, look at blood. Blood everywhere. That leads to here. Okay. Um. Hmm. What's this? Automated. Unlock terminal from service console. Okay, well, I'm able to mess with that then. How do I jump from one office to here? Is this inside my head? No, there can't be. Uh, Omni tool chip installer. Insert Omni tool to ex toolbox. Okay. Thank you. Oh, RT is to read a toolbox. Can I open it? No. What's this? Can I touch it? No. I can pick it up. Can I let myself out? I cannot. Okay. Insert Omni tool. Where am I to find an Omni tool? Chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with mostly customized. Can't speak. Fully customize tools and assistance. Am I supposed to break it? Break open! Fine, whatever, don't break open. And do I need to look around on the floor? Wait a minute, I have an idea. If I can't get out via Omni tool, I will smash my way out! That was so loud. Up. Up. And I'm free! Look at that. I've made it out. Uh, I can't remember how long the password took. I think I should. Whoop. That bugged out. Hello. Nope. It's just bugging out. Locked. Ah! Okay, I'm thinking. Kitty cat! Got distracted by the cat and knocked over a pillow. Okay. Hey, what's that? Can I open it? I broke the seal! Which was keeping me in! Or maybe it was keeping things out. No, I feel like if it was keeping things out, it would be on the inside. It was keeping me in. And now the door's open. Okay, let's see. Oh, saving point! Okay, I feel like I should probably end the video here, because I'm worried about making it too long. I'm getting distracted because I feel like moving on. Anyways, yeah, I should probably end the video here. So on that note, I hope you'll have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!